Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back today with a tutorial. Now, um, I was on Instagram a few days ago and uh, a lady I follow, um, she's called Mommy and Me Crafts. Now she had po posted a picture of this kind of like really cute little bowling bag that she'd made. However, she did say in the post it was in like a, a cut file like an s what do you call them an svg or sgv file or whatever um that she got and made it with that and i just saw the picture and i thought oh i wonder if i could make that you know by hand without a file so this is what we're going to do now i've made a little template and it's just this is literally just some scrap paper i was using to test me uh me printer out because one of the printer heads was blocked anyway so this is the kind of thing i mean you know like a ball and bag i'm sure that's what you call them um and this was just a rough idea that i had but when we make it it's gonna come up higher than this and then we're going to have a piece that will come over to close the top this is the plan anyway so it's made kind of the same way I made the easel hat card but this is going to be really easy this literally took me about a minute to put together and it looks pretty good so I'm going to show you how to do it really quick and easy now I've decided to go for well out of my comfort zone really I don't really use a lot of bright colors but I do love pink and I use it all the time and I just want to start using more colors because I think we need cheering up as well this horrible time that we're going through so what I have done is I have cut four circles which are all the exact same size and I will quickly measure them And I've used the circles that I used for the easel, the easel hat card. I use them all the time. I love these circles. And they are four and a half inches. So you're going to need four of them. I have cut this for the bag. Um, and it's I've cut it to A4 which is eight and a quarter by eleven and three quarters. I have a piece here which will be too big at the minute um, but I've cut it to seven and one eighth and the length is still eleven and three quarters but we will have to cut that down later. So take the piece for the bag and we need to score this first. So score it on the short side at half an inch and then turn it round so the score is now on the right. Score again at half an inch. Now that's all we need to do for that. So, as I said, it is just the same as the easel bonnet card. So, just fold it over. And burnish them. Now, it doesn't matter which way you cut them. It's, you know, that has no relevance. So, you're just going to cut these like little kind of teeth again and you're going to do this all the way to the very top on both sides okay and I'm not going to bore you sitting cutting these so I'm going to just stop the video cut them and come back when they're done so you just want to keep doing that do your little teeth all the way on both sides so I'll do that and I'll come back okay so there we go I have cut it all um, both sides like little teeth now what I, I've just got this kind of like plastic little page protector here be just to stop it from sticking so I've just got just 
a, round, a bottle, any kind of round thing, and I'm just gonna just fall, roll this round, just like a kind of Christmas cracker, I suppose. Just roll it round, just to give it a bit of shape. That's all. And then this is going to be really quick and easy. So these little teeth here, I'm going to put glue all the way along them on the side that I want on the inside. So the pattern that I want on the outside is this one. This is going to be inside, so put them on the inside, the glue. And then you want to glue, that dries pretty quick I suppose. So I'm going to just do this whole thing in one go because you can, it's so easy. Well, maybe it's not easy, it, it's a lot simpler. So, glue on every little tooth, okay? You see that there. Take this circle, okay, it doesn't really matter which way you have it, and then all you're going to do is put that like that, and just roughly where you think the middle is, lay that circle on there, okay? Then just lift it up like this and start to bring these teeth all around just like that and just push them right into the circle. Okay, I know it's hard with the shadows but just stick it like that. Make sure it's stuck which is why a quick, dry, a quick drying glue helps. Do the same with this one, just lift it up and then just bring this, just make sure it's stuck right, pressed right into the edges of the circle and then do the same with this and that's it done. Now how much quicker and easier is that than trying to, you know, fiddle about with them little teeth. because I love the way circular boxes look but if I'm honest I hate making them but now that I've now that I'm doing it this way I actually don't mind and that was what the plastic was for just to stop it sticking and you'll end up with that now you're going to take your other circle and you're going to glue it over the top and you won't be able to see because it's the same size and doesn't that look so much better and it's so much quicker I don't even think that took a minute to do and we're going to do the same again we're going to put glue on every little tooth I think it's just easier to put it all the glue on at once and just go for the whole thing in one go Okay, so there's my glue. Same thing again. I'm going to roughly aim for the middle like that and then I am going to stick the teeth underneath the circle. Okay, on there. And then do one side first. Make sure you're happy with that. can see that there and then do the other side lift it up and just spin it round and there it's done no messing about it's done how easy and quick was that and there's our little ball and bag and if you feel like you need a bit more glue you can just put that on now see because we're going to cover this anyway with our other circle so it doesn't matter you can put it that way and stick that press that down a bit more there we go I think I'll put a little bit under there as well
there's our cute little bowling bag which is I think that's what you call them I'm sure you do now what I'm going to do before I stick the like proper circle on these kind of bags have like they have like kind of pipe and don't they normally around the outside and what I've done is I don't even know if it's going to work but I've just cut a tiny little thin piece probably one eighth of an inch by eleven and three quarters and what I was going to do was just glue it right on the very edge like that right on the edge so it kind of looks like piping or trim and I'm going to stick it on before I put them on so that I don't catch it with glue and stuff so there my bag's rolling away <laughs> so I'm just going to put a bit of glue on there you can stand it up and then just start putting your little trim on which I thought might be see that just a nice little touch I thought There we go. I think that's really cute. So I'm going to glue my circles on. There we go, I think that is looking really, really cute. So, as I said, we're going to need something to cover this opening. So, this is where I've got this piece of card and I cut it to the same width as the bag, which is eight. Well, no, once the bag's been scored, it's seven and one eighth. So I've cut this to seven and one eighth wide. And then we need it to be able to go over to cover our opening. So I'm just going to kind of work out how much we're going to need. So I'm going to say cut it to there. And I'm just going to just grab this little pen to mark it. This is my scientific way <laughs> of working it out so tiny little mark and I'll tell you so it's going to have to be 7 and 1 eighth by 5 and a quarter so we'll cut this five and a quarter and then we want to do the same as what we did before we just want to kind of roll this a little bit okay well, except you need to roll it the right way I'll roll it the right way and then the idea is that will then sit over and cover the gap that we've got in the bag so we want to be gluing this probably about three quarters of an inch down
and then we obviously going to have to make some kind of closure as well so I'm just going to pop some glue down here okay and then we are just going to glue this on the back of our bag simple as that really and then if you open it up you can then take your bone folder and press that down make sure it's stuck probably use a magnet or something to close our cute little bag we could actually put paper on as well and um, if you wanted to have matching paper so I think what I might do is I might I'm going to round the corners on there and then I'm going to make like Mm, I don't know because I tell you what you oh, what I could have done was I could have used like a fancy edge die you know and just made it a bit fancier or something but obviously you can do that with yours if you want I didn't think there so I am gonna Probably, I don't know, maybe decorate up the top because I think it's a bit bare. To me, it looks a bit bare. Um, so I don't know. What I could do is I have another sheet of this and I could put like a different pattern on, but that might be too in your face, I think. So I might just cut some more paper and have the paper the same. So bear with us and I'll sort the paper. Okay, so what I did was, get this out of the way, I cut some paper and I covered the top with the paper. Now, what else I did as well was, I don't know, you might not want to do this, but with this lid and it just being stuck on, it was quite tight, so you couldn't really open it a lot. So what I did was, if you can see there, really it should have been scored but I didn't think I just folded it back so when you take this piece for your lid if you put it on the scoreboard on the long side and score it at one inch that would give you the bit just so you can open that top more okay and then what I had to do as well to stop it rolling was I put some little feet on and all they are are oh, just some sticky silver gems but they're really like really large and I just put four of them on and as you can see it stands up perfectly now it's not it's not rolling away when you put it down so I did that as well so what we're going to do is we need some handles and decorations and stuff now I've got some one inch one inch pieces and what I was going to do was I was just going to kind of pop them from there to the back so I think they're too um, long but yeah just a tiny little bit too long so I'm just going to cut a little bit off and then I'll tell you roughly what we need to measure because these bags normally have that on don't they and then that turns into the handle but we can't do that so yeah these need to be one inch by eleven and a quarter and you want two of them and I'm going to glue them on 
just for more There we go, I think that's looking really cool. I mean if you wanted to you could actually take it over to the lid as well. So I've got a little piece which is three and a half inches by one and a half and this is going to be our bit that keeps it closed. So I'm going to glue this halfway onto what will be our kind of lid. I'm going to glue that on there. Okay, it's starting to look really cool. I like this. And then what we're going to do is I want um, the handle. I've just glued two strips of this one inch yellow card together because I'm going to have it on the side because we'll struggle to get it anywhere else. And for that I think I'm going to put it in with eyelets. So I'm going to punch a, just move this out the way, and I'm going to punch a hole just about there. Same on this one, just roughly in the middle of the circle between those two pieces. And as I said, I've got my handle. So what I'm going to do is round So I'm just going to put the handle on with eyelets. I think I'll do that and I'll come back because I'm sure you know how to put the handle on. All right, I have put the handle on with some eyelets and I just stuck a little bow because what I did was I just put some Velcro, okay, just to keep it closed and it stands up lovely and I'm just, I'm quite impressed with that. I think it's really sweet as well. So what quickly I was going to do before I go is some more of those little silver gem things I'm going to put just a few down the front of the little decorative panel things just a few Doesn't that just look so cute? Quite realistic as well, I think. I just, like I say, I saw it and I thought, oh, surely I've got to be able to make one of them um, just with, you know, without having a cut file. And anyway, I don't have my scan and cut anymore. I sold it last week because I'm just not using it. I don't know, there's nothing wrong with them, but I think for me, I just prefer, you know, a scoreboard and that kind of thing. I, they're just not really my thing. I, I don't think I would ever buy another. So, there we go. That is gorgeous. 
beautiful gift bag. Well, I think that's what you call them, a bowling bag. Opens up. There's loads of room in there to get stuff. Now, what I would, a little tip is all of this and the handle and stuff, I would put all of that on before you put this on because it makes it a bit harder. But if I was making it again, I would definitely do all that and put this top piece on last. So I'll have all the info on my blog. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you'll have a go at making one and I'll be back again soon with another video. So take care and bye for now.